This is one of 23 mobile testing sites set up exclusively for Baltimore City employees. Organizers say business is not brisk, but that's okay. City officials would rather see people getting vaccinated than tested. It was just a personal decision of my own. Um, I don't judge anyone for if they get tested or not, but I just chose to get the weekly testing instead of the vaccine. Baltimore City worker Deanna King is taking her chances with COVID, but doesn't want to risk losing her job. They want to get stay employed and they want to work for the city. They love Baltimore and they're here to get tested and they're going to be coming on a weekly basis. City workers who aren't fully vaccinated must submit to weekly testing and those tests must take place at a city sanctioned site. Those who don't comply cannot report to work. It doesn't go from you not being able to come to work to immediately being fired. There's there's steps to that, right? And there's a, there's a long process. The mayor tells 11 News the city labor commissioner is still working on policy details. As of Monday, 61% of the city workforce is fully vaccinated. 51% of the police force is in compliance. 56% of city fire employees got the shot. 71% of health department workers. 80% of the workers in the state's attorney's office, 86% of the sheriff's office. A complete list can be found at WBALTV.com. This again is about making sure that we're keeping our employees safe and our residents in Baltimore safe. Testing sites will be available until further notice or until at least 80% of the city workforce is vaccinated. Reporting from West Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.